you will continue with the Emir Erish here again? Yeah, again me. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome again, Emir. Please continue. <laughs> okay, let's start. Uh, All right. I think you are seeing, okay. <laughs> Yep. Uh, good afternoon from Sakarya. Firstly, uh, I'm Emir from uh, Applied Science University of Sakarya. We will talk about cellulose paraphosphates produced by streak acid as a cholesterol agent. Uh, firstly, introduction section. Uh, Superabsorbent polymers are important because they can uh, absorb huge amount of water according to the, their uh, own weight. After water absorption, uh, they are called uh, hydrogels. Hydrogels are used in many fields such as uh, biomedical, agriculture, and others. To protect their structure uh, in production of hydro hydrogels, uh, cross-linking agents are used, usually ionic uh, agents. Uh, you can see from the screen uh, some types of hydrogels. Uh, next one, uh, generally hydrogels are uh, non-biodegradable, so production potential of renewable and biodegradable materials are important. Uh, cellulose can be uh, the most important alternative uh, for production of hydrogels also uh, and its uh, derivatives too. Uh, cellulose can be easily functionalized due to its uh, hydroxyl groups. Uh, to produce hydrogels from pure cellulose, special solvents such as uh, dimethyl acetamide, lithium chloride, or ionic liquid systems. But these special solvents have some disadvantages, such as uh, they are really, really expensive uh, chemicals. Because of, strict, because of strict, uh, sterical problems of cellulose, uh, cellulose derivatives are mostly preferred for production of hydrogels. Uh, methyl cellulose, ethyl cellulose, carboxymethyl cellulose are common cellulose derivatives, uh, which could be used in production of hydrogels. Uh, next one. Uh, carboxymethyl cellulose is biodegradable uh, and uh, water soluble polymer, so that uh, it has to be reacted with a cross leaking agent for production of hydrogels. On the other hand, carboxymethyl cellulose uh, is generally used in detergents, food, paper, and textile industries. Uh, significance of cross-linking. Uh, uh, cross-linking reactions change the physical proper properties of the polymer. For example, uh, elasticity of the polymer can be changed or uh, viscosity of the polymer uh, can be decreased by the uh, reaction with uh, cross-linking agents. Uh, next one, uh, objective of the study, uh, carboxymethyl cellulose, methyl cellulose, hydroxyethyl cellulose, and hydroxypropyl cellulose are used in the synthesis of the uh, super absorbents. Uh, but carboxymethyl cellulose is the most preferred one because uh, it can be easily dissolved in water and also e easy bonding with water. Uh, for super, super absorbent synthesis from carboxymethyl cellulose, cross-linking and grafting methods uh, are used, but it has a disadvantage, disadvantage uh, low gelation resistance. To overcome this disadvantage, uh, cellulose addition in the production stage of the super absorbent from carboxymethyl cellulose and citric acid as a cross-linking agent were researched. Uh, and the effects of the both, uh, uh, both of practices on the properties of SAP were investigated. Uh, what about materials? Uh, we used spruce dissolving pulp. Uh, its alpha cellulose content uh, was 95.2%. Uh, also, kappa number was uh, determined too. Uh, it's about under one. Uh, and the polymerization degree was 1,406. Commercial uh, carboxymethyl cellulose and citric acid were purchased. Uh, next one, synthesis and testing methods. Uh, 
Firstly, we start uh, in water. Uh, we prepared a mixture of carboxy metal cellulose uh, salt and dissolved pulp at room temperature uh, until, until uh, obtain a uh, viscose solution. Then superabsorbent synthesis was completed by uh, addition of cross-leaking agent and by keeping at uh, 80 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. Uh, we summarized, uh, in table one, we summarized synthesis conditions, conditions of uh, cell SAP. Uh, the amount of the cellulose and carboxymethyl cellulose were, were uh, our variables. Other reaction conditions uh, were stable. Uh, determination of water absorption capacity. Uh, samples were immersed in water at room temperature for uh, 12 hours. Uh, water absorption capacity and swelling in uh, acidic, alkaline, and neutral conditions of cell SAP were determined. Uh, you will see the results in the figure one uh, as pH, uh, pH 2, pH 7, and pH 10. Uh, for calculation, we used uh, this equation you can see from the screen. Uh, on the screen, there are some samples of the uh, SAP before and after uh, water uptake. Uh, some analysis, uh, surface properties of the SAP, uh, SAPs uh, were also investigated by scanning electron microscopy, uh, results and discussion, discussion section. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, we will see water absorption capacity of the SAPs in different pH conditions. Uh, we prepared uh, three types of SAP from dissolving pulp and, dis uh, and uh, carboxymethyl cellulose at different ratios, 10, 90, 30, 70, and 50, 50. We called them as uh, C10, uh, C30 and C50. Uh, you can see from the figure one, uh, the effects of cellulose addition to SAP on the water absorption capacity. Uh, when the amount of cellulose increased from 10% to 50%, water absorption capacity decreased, uh, especially at pH seven, the most striking uh, reduction occurred. Uh, also the water absorption capacity of uh, C10 uh, the sample C10 uh, is the highest percent at pH 7. Uh, also, we try to determine uh, liquid absorption capacity and swelling, swelling amount of the cell SAP in different salt uh, solutions. Uh, figure 2 uh, shows the results. Uh, similarly to results in figure 1, liquid absorption capacity of SAP decreased by the addition of the more cell loss to SAP. Uh, on the right side of the screen, SAP, uh, uh, on the right side of the screen, uh, SAP, the chloramine was the most swelling effect on the pro produced SAPs. You can see the, uh, you can see the surfaces of the SAP uh, on some uh, SEM uh, images. Uh, on the left, 50 times zoomed an image from S SEM, we can see. Magnification is reached 100 times. Cellulose fibers can be seen on the surface. Uh, in 250 times and 550 times zoomed Im images, uh, cellulosic fibers in, uh, in the mat were clearly obs observed. Uh, another picture uh, from the SEM uh, analysis. The conclusions, uh, it was concluded that dissolving pulp, this dissolving pulp cellulose contributed to the skeletal uh, structure of hydrogel. Uh, however, as the rate of dissolving pulp cellulose uh, in this far absorbent increased, it was determined that water absorption capacity of the cellulose, cellulosic uh, superabsorbent decreased. Uh, we want to acknowledge uh, the Scientific and Technological Research Council of Turkey for financial support. Uh, also you, thank you for your attention. 
thank you, Emir, for uh, your nice presentation. Uh, I'm looking at is there any questions asked for you? Uh, I don't see any questions. Once again, uh, I would like to thank the, all the presenters today. I think we finished in a timely manner. Uh, I hope that uh, everybody enjoyed uh, all the presentation. Uh, and I hope that you know the, in two years we will see you guys again in Orenco 2022. Thank you. Thank you, Sarge.